Hey everyone, it's Joelle here, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have moved us from our usual location over there near that bookshelf to this background, which is not the best background in the world, but I wanted to show my Buffy shelf because we are doing the horror life tag. Um, this was a tag that was created by Marie McWilliams, which I'll link her original video in the description box so that you can actually see the questions. But I heard about it from Alex at Hey Little Thrifter, who is one of my favorite people here on BookTube. So I'll link her video down in the description box as well. But this is the horror life tag. So this is a lot of movies and books related to the genre of horror. So um, yeah, we're going to go through them and you're going to learn some things about me that you may not know, but you may probably have suspected along the way. So, all right. Question number one, what was the first horror movie you remember seeing? So a little background about me. I was born in 1986, which means that I was kind of in the youth, in my youth, I was in the era of a lot of horror movies being produced at a very alarming rate and I was in the era of blockbuster video. We didn't have streaming services, we didn't even have the internet yet, so well it was just starting. But anyway, I remember as a kid going to blockbuster video with my dad and picking out horror movies and sci-fi movies as a kid and I loved them because it meant that I got to sat sit with my dad at nighttime and watch horror movies and it was fantastic. Um, I think the very first one that I actually remember, remember, um, is Puppet Master. Yeah, so um, my favorite, most exciting thing was going to the Blockbuster and looking up the Full Moon movies. So Full Moon is a production company that made a lot of direct-to-video <laughs> movies that are so bad. Like if I was watching them now, although Puppet Master, as cheesy as it is, it's still freaking scary. Um, but yeah, we would get so excited about a full moon movie. Um, so we would get that and then like Jamie and mom would get something different. Um, but yeah, I just remember watching a lot of full moon movies and Puppet Master was definitely one of them. Um, we also used to watch a lot of the Stephen King movies. Um, I remember like every now and then when we would get like the free HBO weekend or whatever that was, um, we would watch a lot of like The Stand. I remember watching The Stand so many times as a kid. Um, Misery, Carrie, um, I can't think of any other ones at, at right now, but, um, yeah, definitely some of the, the, like, 80s and 90s movies of Stephen King's, but pretty much, like, these cheesy horror sci-fi kind of movies, um, I just grew up watching it, so, um, yeah. Uh, number two, what was the first horror book that you remember reading? Definitely Goosebumps. I know everybody says this, but I mean, for its time, it was what we needed. We didn't have like those YA, um, like Twilight and stuff when I was middle school, high school. Like Harry Potter was just coming out when I was in high school. So, I mean, that in itself was a big deal. But, um, you know, I didn't read Twilight till college, so we we relied a lot on goosebumps goosebumps was our like scary thing um and then also um well babysitter's club it's not scary but yeah i would read a lot of goosebumps babysitter's club and boxcar children but um yeah goosebumps number three what is a movie that made you a horror fan so again um growing up and being like middle school aged in the 90s um i definitely you know, think of the classics, the Scream movies. I know what you did last summer. The Craft, um, Disturbing Behavior, Urban Legend. So all of those 90s horror movies definitely had a big part in it. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the biggest thing of all was my love for the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Which has horror-like elements to it, but also teen life. So henceforth the Buffy stuff and I do there's more Buffy stuff 
um, but I do have a video completely showing off my Buffy shelf, so be sure to check that out. Maybe I'll link it in the cards if I remember, but I don't know if I'll remember or not. Um, but yeah, I Buffy the Vampire Slayer was very pivotal in my uh, teenage years. So yeah. Um, number four, what is the book that made you a horror fan? See, I didn't really get into horror books until like the past few years, to be honest, because I'm very much a horror movie person versus a horror book. But I will say that I have made the effort to read more Stephen King recently. I mean, everybody's like, Stephen King, but it's, I mean, it's true. He's very much a very well-known author of the genre. But I will say that the Books in the Freezer podcast and watching um, That's What She Read, um, The Shades of Orange, A Little Thrifter, um, The Spinebreakers Chicks, um, they have introduced me to a lot of books in the genre that I'm very happy to um, have picked up since then. Paul Tremblay, I definitely enjoy his books. Um, and want to read more. There's a new one out that I want to read. And then, um, yeah, I mean, just in general, I think the problem is that I don't want to buy them and I don't like ebooks. I'm such an audiobook person that if it's not on an audiobook, I'm kind of like, meh at this point. But it's quarantine, so maybe I should just pick some up. Who knows? Yeah, um, number five, favorite horror movie of all time. I mean, how does one even pick a favorite horror movie? That's like asking what your favorite song is. It's so difficult to do when you're such a fan of the genre. Um, I will say that for the longest time when people asked me what my favorite movie was, it was Queen of the Damned. Like, hands down, Queen of the Damned. One, the soundtrack is phenomenal. Um, but also just, I freaking love it. Um, yeah, it's one of those like awesomely bad horror movies, but I love it. Um, another one that I thought of right away was Doomsday. Anything involving cannibalism really freaks me out. And yeah, Doomsday is one of those movies that I could watch a million times over and be happy. But I think that's a little bit more sci-fi than horror. But if you don't know what Doomsday is, uh, very relevant today's time frame, considering we're in a pandemic. Um, it's basically like virus gets out, Sweden is completely walled in, and there's some zombies, and the only way to find out a cure is to go into the walled off area. So this cop chick goes in there with a group of people, and they find um, cannibals. Um, there's like a Mad Max type element to it, which Mad Max, if, if you consider those horror, I consider them more like sci-fi action, but Mad Max, I watched those movies 5 million times as a kid. Love them, especially beyond Thunderdome. Um, but yeah, Doomsday is really good. Um, I put down Scream because obviously Scream movies are really good. I know what you did last summer, I think, was probably one of the ones that I loved the most because it had Sarah Michelle Gellar in it. And I'm such a Buffy fan. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really difficult to pick a favorite horror movie. But there's definitely some that I'm like, I could watch Queen of the Damned all the time. I could watch Doomsday all the time. I could put on Buffy and be comforted. Um, yeah. I have this weird thing where I'm very much comforted by things that are horror or thrillers or things like that. And I think the reason why is because it's not happening to me. So whatever is going on in my life doesn't seem as bad when I watch these kind of movies. And I just love it because it reminds me of uh, the times when I was a kid. So, yeah. Um, number six, favorite horror book. Again, I don't think I could pick one because I haven't read enough of them to actually pick a favorite, but I will say that, um, there's definitely a genre or like a, a, a trope that I like the most. And that actually leads me to number seven. What is your favorite horror trope? Um, I am actually scared of humans hurting other humans. Anytime there is a psychological aspect to anything, it really freaks me the F out. So um, 
you know, like the group of, of friends and suddenly there's a killer after them or um, escaped mental patient, um, anything having to do with asylums and mental hospitals, because I am somebody who has mental health struggles. Um, that freaks me out. Cannibalism freaks me out so, so much. The fact that somebody is going to eat me. Mm -mm, no. Um, but I don't get freaked out by like demons and monsters and stuff because to me that's like normal. I know, right? Um, like whenever somebody like snaps and takes out all their shit on somebody else, that is what scares me because it could really happen. Um, whereas, you know, vampires, uh, werewolves, I don't know, zombies? Could happen, just saying coronavirus, give me some zombies. So I really am, this pandemic's worth it. Um, yeah. Um, and finally, number eight, uh, why do you love horror? And, and like I said, you know, it's, it's an escape from reality. Um, it really makes you think that your life really isn't that bad. Being quarantined, not having enough toilet paper. What if you were having to live on the road with a backpack and like no hand sanitizer trying to fight off zombies or like, you know, there it, things could be worse in real life. And I think that watching that kind of stuff. Um, also, I really love, um, you know, I didn't even mention this movie, Silent Hill. Silent Hill made me want to almost quit college and go to makeup school. Um, I love that movie so much. I know it's based on a video game. Yeah. But uh, Silent Hill was one of those ones that is really effing creepy. And when it when I watched it, I was living in West Virginia at the time. It takes place in West Virginia. Wrong turn. Forgot to mention wrong turn. Um, people who are inbred freak me out. Like the inbred hillbillies that live in the woods that try to kill the people. Or, um, ooh, what is that one? Uh, where the family, uh, they're like RV breaks down and there's this creepy town and the radiation and everything. And then like rape, rape freaks me out. Don't like watching anything with rape. Uh -uh. Um, I don't like seeing families get killed in front of each other. That really bothers me. Um, cause I think about like, what would my parents do to save me and my sister? And it really upsets me. Um, because I know me in that situation, I would sacrifice myself for my family and would not let my parents do that for me. Um, wow, we just got real deep. Um, yeah, uh, I can't think of what the name of that movie is, uh, but I'll think of it eventually. But yeah, those are, you know, those are some of my like favorite ones. I do love exploring Netflix and Hulu and all the other platforms to find the latest and greatest of horror. Um, most of them are terrible. I did watch the Into the Dark movies on Hulu and a lot of them I liked. Most of them I didn't because they were bad. Um, like that New Year's one where they're all like gay and not the gay is wrong, obviously I'm gay. Um, but uh, where they're all like at the club and then somebody is like in this S&M get up trying to like kill their group of friends. Uh -uh, that was not a good movie, but um, the other New Year's movie was really good though, with the teen girls and like, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm rambling at this point, but I just really love the genre of horror and I want to get into more horror books. So feel free to recommend some down in the description box. I would love to know what your favorite horror things are. Um, if you do this tag, let me know so I can watch it. Um, send me a link or anything. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. It was very fun to uh, think about the things that are spooky and um, kind of makes me want to watch some scary stuff right now, but I have to go to work because I am not quarantined and I am essential. So therefore going to work and you know what? Wearing, wearing a mask and worrying about germs and a virus is really freaking scary. So how appropriate to do this tag right about now you know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really appreciate your time. Um, definitely check out my social media links. They'll all be in the description box. Like I said, I'm going to link the original video 
to Marie's tag and um, Alex from Hey Little Thrifters in the description box as well. Um, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy Cinco de Mayo is when I'm filming this and hopefully uploading it. And I will see you all in another video. Bye.